everybody. Good evening. Hope you're having a good time. Uh, thanks for coming out to Atlantic City. Uh, we are an LGBT friendly community. Always have been and always will be, at least to my dying day. Uh, nice way to start the season. I know it's raining today. Uh, if you haven't been following the papers, it rains on my parade every freaking day. So uh, I just got used to that. Um, it should be a great summer. We kick it off tomorrow night with fireworks and the uh, new light show over at Tropicana. But we're really here today to talk about Miss America 2015. And so it's my pleasure to bring up uh, John Charles and Gary Hill. Woohoo! I really want to thank you all for supporting Miss America for all these years. And. Uh, I also like the, 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 the volunteers, people don't understand in the beginning how hard it was to get this kick, kick and getting going. And Gary was my first volunteer that I made him do it. And he, but uh, he, he, he really made it happen. He, he was behind me 100% saying, yes, we can do this, yes, we can do this. So without further ado, here's Mr. Boss. Thank you. Welcome, it's great to be at SCORES. Thank you again to SCORES and staff, their management. Fantastic. One of the most important things about Miss America, besides all of the wonderful community support, is the money that we have raised that goes back into the community, the GLPTA community. Not just here, most of it here, but also to the Philadelphia and the New York areas. And for some of you maybe who don't know this, we have given and raised over $285,000 for the LGBTA community because of you, our sponsors, and all of our friends. Some of those causes I think you should know about. Some you might support personally. But all of us and the monies we give from Miss America uh, is part of our contributions. Lambda Legal, the Human Rights Campaign, the Mazzoni Center in Philadelphia, Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS, the William Way Community Center, this year John C. Anderson Sr. GLBTA Apartment Complex, and the biggest and always the most important charity is our local South Jersey AIDS Alliance, South SAA. So thank you for your continued support, and thank you for continuing to help us, to help everybody else. We have some great, exciting news you can hear about right now. Saturday night, September 26th, 8.30 p.m., Carson Presley has already been signed. He's coming Woo! back as our host. And it's, it's going to be an amazing year for Miss America. So tickets go on sale Saturday, June 6th, correct? They're available at the Borgata Box Office. And what is the website for this for your box office? The Borgata.com. The Borgata.com, that's easy. Or on our website, acglbt.org. Tickets are $100, which includes the pre-party in Murmur and the post-party in the event center. Also, a $65 ticket is the admission to the show only, and then there's a $10 ticket that you can buy as an upcharge to go to the post party. Uh, so this year, uh, what's been really important to me is something you said to me at the brunch right after I was crowned was, you offered me a new task, which was how to figure out to make people do AC more. What was, what was I going to do as Miss America to do that, is what you said to me. Uh, so this year, I have made it a point to be a stand for this community and be involved in anything that I could possibly be involved in. Be here for you guys whenever you needed me to be here. And it's, that's been my favorite thing this year. Yeah. And Senior Vice President of Borgata, Joe Dupont. Yeah. Thank you, John. Uh, what's a pageant without a runway, right? <laughs> We had to build a runway in the music box, so uh, we're really excited about having Miss America here at Borgata. As you, everyone knows, Borgata, the market leader here in Atlantic City, one of our most prominent pillars of our success has been entertainment. So uh, one, one facet we've been missing is the Miss America pageant. So with that, we're really excited to bring Miss America to Borgata this year, and we really couldn't be uh, happier about having it. So thank you very much for yeah. considering Borgata. And something I think more importantly is that we've had such an initiative to really support the LGBT community. I hope everyone knows about our Out of Borgata campaign. We just recently announced the Out of Borgata website, the Facebook page. We're going to be having an Out of Borgata party uh, Friday, June 12th. And we are supporters of Sandblast as well as we were last year. So we're just, uh, you know, we're really excited about being a supporter. And I think the, 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 the 
the climax at all about uh, supporting LGBT, it's Mr. Mann. Yeah. Thank you. Joe Lupo is an amazing man that runs an amazing company. When we first sat down with the folks at Borgata and asked them if they would be interested in hosting the Mr. America pageant, at joining our alliance, hosting a mixer, and becoming a part of the GLBT community, we were received with such warmth and such genuine warmth. And Joe said to me, Rich, I can write you a check. That's easy. But I don't want to just write you a check. If I'm going to put Borgata's money behind you, I'm going to put Borgata behind you. And this man has done that in a major way. We made them a wish list of everything that, under the sun and the moon that we possibly could want to put on the 2015 Mr. America pageant. And it's so refreshing that Joe came back to us with reasons why he wanted to help, not reasons why he couldn't help. And yes, they've given us everything we've asked for, and then some. I believe that the 2015 Mr. America pageant, because of Borgata and Joe Lupo, is going to be the most successful one we've staged to date. By giving money, uh, that's, that's the easy way out. But by being truly supportive and listening to the members, listening to our customers, listening to our employees about how we can be supportive, uh, we felt that would be a more meaningful way to really ensure that we were doing what was uh, right by the LGBT community rather than just writing a check. Borgata supports Atlantic City and as a, as a supporter of Atlantic City we support all the endeavors and uh, a big part of that is the LGBT community. A big part of that is our co customers as well as our employees. We have a lot of employees and customers who are, uh, make up the LGBT demographic. So it's important for us to support those individuals as they support us.